EPA and WA Meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your Outlook for March 22nd, 2022. It is Tuesday, and the Tuesday video forecast is sponsored by J. Evans Property Services, serving York, Lancaster, Chester, Berks, Lebanon, and Southern Dauphin Counties in Pennsylvania, and also Northern Maryland. It is that time of year with spring arriving this past weekend. If you're looking for quality work at competitive prices from a family-owned business, J. Evans Property Services is the way to go. They offer premium landscaping, sod install, drain and solutions, and landscape design, as well as residential and commercial complete property maintenance. Right now, they have a 10% off promotion that goes through April 15th on any landscape install or mulching when scheduled through their website or through the number or email above me. Uh, that website is landscapingcontractorslancasterpa.com. They are J. Evans Property Services, proud sponsors of the Tuesday video forecast. So today we have a partly to mostly cloudy day after we had a very nice day yesterday and uh, mostly sunny skies, actually not really a cloud in the sky for most of it. And temperature today will be very slightly cooler than yesterday, not much, maybe a couple degrees, two or three degrees cooler. So the spread in temperatures today is 54 to 63 from north to south across our region uh, and then much cooler on Wednesday as we have some showers working in, mainly during the afternoon hours. So that's with this system here. This system has been producing some, some very violent, uh, severe weather this evening, or this past evening, with uh, across eastern Texas, southeastern Texas. And that will move up into these areas, parts of Louisiana and Mississippi, and areas that I have been in. <laughs> these, are, these are very familiar places down here. Uh, I have never been to Texas, believe it or not, but I have been uh, to Fort Polk, Louisiana, went up to Jackson, Mississippi, places like that. Those are all under the gun for a moderate risk and tornado risk on Tuesday. Not here, though. We're going to be uh, not dealing with severe weather out of this entire system. We're just dealing with some rain, and thankfully, we don't have to worry about that just yet. I'm sure that time will come. Let me switch this over while we're uh, while I'm thinking of it because I had the uh, the wrong time here. So this is looking at later today. So we have partly to mostly cloudy skies today, and then tomorrow we have the rain moving in. So that's going to be with this system here as they move this forward. You can see uh, during the morning you're just cloudy, okay? Cloudy on Wednesday morning. It is going to be cooler because you're on the, you're on the cooler side of a uh, warm front that's going to be moving through. That warm front is going to move through overnight Wednesday night, and then Thursday is going to be back to milder again. So this is going to be uh, a one day. Uh, shot of cool, if you will. We have temperatures stuck in the 40s for most areas until you get down by Philadelphia and point southeast, you get into the 50s there, okay? Uh, so as we move this forward, you can see this uh, showers moving in during the afternoon and continuing it through the evening and overnight. And then this warm front is going to lift off to the north on Thursday morning. When it does so, temperatures are going to be allowed to increase. So instead of being in the stuck in the 40s for highs for most places on Wednesday, you'll be back into at least the upper mid to upper 50s, it looks like, for highs across the region on Thursday. Might even get above 60 again in our far southeastern areas by Philadelphia. Matter of fact, we have that forecast, 62 for high on Thursday in Philadelphia. Uh, and then we might get a little bit of a break for a short period of time uh, during the day, uh, the heart of the day on Thursday, before we have another wave of low pressure that's going to move, uh, or that's going to trail this system and bring some more showers that are going to come in uh, generally during the evening and overnight uh, while you sleep here, okay? So then after that point, uh, we will clear out uh, gradually here on Friday, becoming partly cloudy on Friday, and temperatures on Friday are going to be uh, back into the uh, 50s again. So generally in the, the mid to upper 50s again for highs on Friday. Before I get to that any further, I want to get to the NAM High Res Future Simulator Radar because this is looking at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. Just to give you a general idea of timing, this is the opening bid from the 3-kilometer NAM. I don't have the entire thing in range, but just to give you an idea, I just have some light, you know, showers moving through, intermittent showers that go through the evening, and then again overnight, and you can see that here, and that goes all the way into uh, Thursday morning. We do expect after this point, this is looking at 7 o'clock, or I'm sorry, 8 o'clock in the morning on uh, on Wednesday, or I'm sorry, Thursday. Holy, can my days right here. Uh, 8 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, and you still have some shower activity across the region where there might be a break again in between this this round and the second round that's going to be come, come in behind it. And going over the 12-kilometer name, just to give you an idea, uh, it does have this uh, little bit of a break in there before more action comes in in the overnight right here. There's there's your break right there, okay? So you get a little bit of a break in the afternoon and maybe part of the evening before round two comes in, and this goes right into... Friday morning, okay, before that finally pulls away, and then becoming partly cloudy on Friday. Uh, now, Saturday is a, uh, you get this weak system here that's going to move through the region, 
And this is uh, the short wave we'll keep an eye on here because this is on the lead of a trough, and it's going to get our temperatures very cold uh, relative to time of year. Not cold like January, February cold, but it's going to be cold relative to the time of year. We're talking about the end of March now where ten normal highs are now in the middle 50s. Uh, as a composite average across the region. So you're not really expecting temperatures to be uh, stuck in the middle 40s. And that's exactly what we're, be dealing, we're going to be dealing with on, on Sunday and Monday following this system. But, but to bring this in, rounding the base of the trough here is this system here. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on I'm going to trend this over to precipitation type radar, as you can see. Our far northern areas could get into a few snow showers out of this. That is not out of the... Uh, realm of possibility right now it doesn't look like there's a lot of precipitation in the in the forecast for saturday but it will be mostly cloudy with this in the vicinity this is a saturday and saturday night deal uh hardly any precipitation at all but there could be a few uh be a passing rain shower that goes uh you know later in the day here on saturday or also saturday night and maybe a rain or snow shower far north this isn't really going to do anything but it's just going to be one of those deals where you still get flakes. It's still March, and that can still happen. Just not any organized system that's going to bring you accumulating snow. That's not what we're looking at here. Okay. Uh, then once we get in behind this on Sunday and Monday, you have the real cold coming in relative to average, and you have temperatures just about everywhere within our region stuck in the 40s for both uh, set Sunday and Monday of, of uh, next week. So it's going to turn out pretty cold, but it's only, the good thing is it's a transient shot. So it's just these temporary sabbatical if you will and a step back in temperatures back into the 40s for a couple days both sunday and monday and then we rebound back to near average by the time we get to next tuesday i'm epawa meteorologist bobby marchers that is your outlook for march 22nd 2022 have a great tuesday